Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. I return to source, I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and prominently. I call in only the purest of white lights. Okay, anything the enemy has stolen from you is being returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are being dismantled, are dismantled. As, as I have said, so shall it be. <coughs> Judgment is final. So you may be having someone that may want to come in and extend some type of offer to you. This could be an offer of friendship, an offer of finance, something of that nature. Someone may want to start things off a little bit slow, you know. Uh, they may be a little bit uncertain about how to approach you because you are in your warrior. You're, you're kind of coming out as a queen of wands right now. Like you're ready for battle. <laughs> this is you, but you're giving up this energy right now. And I think you have some type of reason for doing that. Uh, so someone when someone is a little bit hesitant on how to approach you, I will be mindful. Someone's interest in you may not be genuine. Uh, it may be like something where there's an ulterior motive behind it, or it's just really an immature offer that they are giving you. So I will be careful with this person. Try to find out what exactly it is they want from you, what their intentions are, because someone may be coming into your life just to kind of set you back. It's to get you all in your feelings, just to disappear, get you all in your feelings, yeah, just to disappoint you. Okay. Someone knows that you are a, a healer. You're a blessing. You're like a wish come through and everything. Uh, you're not just beautiful. Uh, you are nurturing, right? Someone wants you to heal them. This may be why they're coming towards you because they know that you are capable of healing them. They may be in a situation where they're not being nurtured, maybe with another feminine or a family, whatever it is. But I will be... E I will advise you to be careful with this person that could have some type of ulterior motive where they're not really revealing to you what their true intentions are, right? So you always want to be mindful when people are coming towards you with a Knight of Cups kind of offer. It's not really promising, but you know, it can always lead to something something different, something more solid. So, and you know, some of the best relationships are the ones that start off really slow. They start off as friendships and things like that. So that may be what this is about. Someone will need to offer you some type of friendship and they're hoping it's gonna turn into something else. Um, just, I don't know. I don't know, this energy is a little bit confusing for me because of the fact that it started out with the Knight of Cups is a little bit, um, it's a little bit confusing for me, okay? But I'm trying to see it from a positive side because the Knight of Cups, they can be wishy-washy, and that's why I don't tend to trust them. <laughs> that's why I don't, I don't really tend to trust Knight of Cups energy. It's that they're really back and forth. They can be unsteady, right, not solid, um, things like that. So maybe this person is just offering you some friendship. Maybe someone wants to, someone may be like a person that operates with their mental a lot, but they're learning how to operate from their heart space, okay? Maybe that's what this is, but honey, good luck with this one. Good luck, good luck, and good luck. Good luck. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't, I don't get a good feeling. I feel like someone is coming in to give you some type of offer. It's going to seem like it's solid. It's genuine. They want to build with you and things like that. They know you're a healer. They may even ask you to marry them just so you can be trapped with them. I don't know if this is a genuine offer. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if this is a genuine offer. So just, just be mindful about that. With that full of uh, pentacles out here, the full of pentacles has to do with you being trapped um having being in like being in like an uh, unhealthy relationship and things like that so i would just be mindful there could be a couple that's going through this as well going through some type of financial like yeah yeah they're going through some type of financial like themselves this would be something they were intending for you 
you can expect to be receiving some type of I don't know assistance like someone wants to assist you and maybe people have been interfering with that and you don't know it so you could have someone of high honor someone very influential that's watching you or is interested in you and people have been trying to block this person from making their way to you but they know about you yeah they know about you and they have foresight of the whole situation people may not know that this man is aware or maybe they know that he's aware of you and this is why they've been making efforts to block him from contacting you, assisting you. Um, I can hear someone telling people, don't assist, don't assist her, don't assist him, don't help him, don't help her, something like that. Like someone does not want this person helping, helping you. That's really sad. That's really sad and pathetic. That's really sad. Someone wants you to stay trapped. Someone wants you to feel trapped. I'm being corrected to say. But this, um, I don't know. This Knight of Cups threw me off. It threw me off. It's, oh my gosh. I feel like someone is coming in to give you some type of offer just to trap you in an, unha in an unhappy marriage. There's someone else that's interested in you and someone is trying to beat them to the punch. That's what this is, that you're supposed to have some type of union with someone really solid, someone that vibrates on the same frequency as you, but you have someone else that wants to come in and beat them to the punch, make you an offer, and it's not a solid offer. You have someone that wants to marry you, okay? I'm just not getting a good feeling. Uh, no. I feel like it's a breadcrumbing offer from this first person. This one that's coming in with this Knight of Cups energy. Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like they want to give to you because they know you are someone... You may, you may have some wealth attached to your name or maybe they think you're wealthy or you have a bright future or something like that and they just want to attach themselves to you. But this is like, I don't know, this is not a mature offer they're coming to you with. Especially if you're showing up in this energy. I feel like someone wants to come in and breadcrumb you. That's what this is. Um, someone may be paying someone behind the scene as well to come in and do something to you. So just be mindful. Like the cause you are ending. Like someone is very determined to destroy another character and they don't care how they go about doing it. They don't mind paying people. They don't mind. They don't mind. They don't even care how the job is done as long as it's done. Okay. They may be paying people behind the scenes. There's a whole lot going on with this Queen of Wands and... And this star out here, someone may see you as a wish come through. This is so confusing. This is so confusing. Because there's someone that's in their mind a lot. They're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Like they're indecisive. And it's really annoying. I feel so agitated with this person. And this is like a slow moving energy. Like they take their time. Like they're cruising. Like if you are on the highway and the speed limit was like 70 miles per, per hour, this would be the person that's going at 45 miles per hour, pissing everybody off, endangering people. Like someone is very slow moving. And it's just so agitating. Like And they keep going back and forth in their head. Should I, should I uh, make her an offer? No, yes, no, yes, no. It's like so back and forth. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't. Oh, yeah. There's someone going through some type of ending as well. Someone is burning. There's a woman and there's a woman, either a woman of high honor or a man of high honor that's very much burdened because they're not receiving something. Something is going to who it's supposed to be. Okay. 
either an offer, an abundance, an inheritance, whatever it is, is going to who is meant to go to. Someone has done quite a lot to make sure things go in their favor, but it's not going to go in their favor. It's going to go to the star, okay? But what you, the star, have to be mindful of is who you're receiving this offer from. You could have two masculines that are wanting to give you an offer, but one of them is insincere. One of them may just be wanting to use you for your gifts and abilities. Um, they know how to kind of manipulate energy to get some type of profit out of being in your being in your life, basically. So you'll have to be very mindful with who's giving you the offer so you don't end up being trapped in some type of relationship where you're being breadcrumbed by a masculine. Okay, because this is going to be someone that's very impulsive, someone that does that tick for tack kind of stuff and is really childish and immature as heck. You're showing up in a mature energy, but this person, they're not so mature. This is someone that has, has to get their get back, get back at you. And that's a very immature energy to be, yeah, they're, yeah, this is this person. Someone is coming into your life to cause illusions, just to just to betray you, just to hurt you, right? And they'll do it repeatedly. This is this is someone coming in your life just to kind of set you back. It's like, oh, you say you're here, you say you're mature, oh, you say you're this and you're that. I'll show you, but they're not gonna come off like that. They're gonna come in real genuine, very much meticulously deceitful. But they'll be so natural with it, you'll think that they really like you. Like someone is coming in with a whole plan on how to end you. And I don't know why someone is this determined to end you, but they're very much determined to end you. Yes, yeah, someone, you <laughs> can be careful. Be careful. I don't get a good feeling. Maybe that's why I like I'm having a hard time with this as far as the mental, because like this person. I think they're they're concerned about being cut. Like you catching on to what they're doing as well. But someone is burdened about an offer being given to someone else. Um, it could be like you and someone coming together as well. And people are worried about you two being together because they're like, this person is of high honor and this person is coming from the slums. They shouldn't be together. This person is this ethnicity. This person is this ethnicity. They shouldn't be together. It's something like that. There's a lot of judgment going on. It could also be something that has to do with religious backgrounds, where it's maybe the masculine comes from a spiritual background you, and you come from a religious background or vice versa. It's one of those and people are against it. You could be due to receive some type of inheritance as well and people don't want you to receive it, but you will be receiving it. And someone may have stolen, stolen it in the past like they were advocating for themselves that they that it belongs to them so they took some type of action to steal it but it's been taken away from them to be returned to you and someone is going through some type of burden right now like they're worried how things are about to happen this person caused a lot of conflict and manipulation just to receive some type of abundance that did not belong to them yeah and they've been walking around bluffing Telling people, hey, look at my new house. Look at my new car. And people are looking at, well, how in the heck did he come into this to overnight? Like some of went from like living in a two, three bedroom house to being in a mansion. And people are looking at them like, uh, what in the world is going on here? Like, how do you just end up in this life overnight? Someone is not telling people that they did some trickery behind the scenes to receive something that was not theirs. I'm telling you, yeah, they're going to be left out in the cold. Someone has to leave a home. Someone has to leave a home because it's, yeah, someone has to leave a home because it's being returned to the rightful owner. Someone stole a property and they've been living comfortably in there comfortable in there but they have to leave everything they took they have to return it and they're worried about this very much worry it says someone was manifesting poverty for you because they were actively trying to steal from you and they actively took actions <laughs> they took action to steal from you 
and now they're going to be re reflecting or reciprocating reflecting exactly what they put you through they're going to be mirroring that same experience so if you're going through some type of like right now you best believe whoever spoke that into your life is going through the same thing um, and i don't want you to think that someone has power over your life what you're going through is your destiny uh, someone just has some type of illusion that they spoke curses over your life and was successful. If you're showing up in the star energy, that means that you are someone very abundant naturally. Um, so you're all, and then you see here, abundance, right? Bounty, bountiful harvest and things like that. So you're naturally abundant, right? And so this is all part of your destiny, this experience that you're going through, right? So it's not really someone speaking curses over your life and then they being successful. It's just you fulfilling your contract. This is part of the experience that maybe you weren't expecting. I think I've mentioned on my channel before how counsel, before you incarnate, they put these little sauces on your path, surprises, right? Things that you're not expecting. This is like, you know, you're living the La Vita Loca and then all of a sudden something happens. Yeah, sauce. That's what I call sauce because you're not really expecting something of that magnitude to happen. So your life could have been peaceful for a while and then all of a sudden something happens and you may be going through homelessness. You may be going through a job loss or something like that, right? That's sauce. That's what I call sauce. Like the el those consoles or elders, they'll put that in your pathway so you can uh, experience that, learn from it, grow from it, so that you're not surprised by it if it ever happened again, even in this lifetime or another lifetime, all right? So you may be going through some type of temporary loss, but whoever has been stealing from you, whoever stole from you is going through the same thing, right? They're being pulled out of a home. Something has been taken away from them and they may be, be being returned to you because you're the rightful owner of whatever this person stole. It could be a property, a land, money. It could be all the above for some of you, but someone is being stripped of what they stole and they're burdened. They're worried about being homeless. They're worried. Yeah, they stole something. I'm telling you, someone stole something and they thought they were going to get away with it. This is someone getting really comfortable with another person's blessing. It's like you get a house and you know the house is not yours and you go and decorate the house and all kinds of stuff, put the best of furniture in there, carpets and everything, right? You have mosaics uh, sitting everywhere, all kinds of stuff. And then they tell you, hey, you have to leave this house. It's being returned to the rightful owner. And then this is you. Whoever stole, this is their energy now. They're worried. Yeah, they're worried. They're living in anxiety. Someone is being very defensive, trying to prove that something is theirs, but they don't realize that the courts already know it's not theirs and they're being put out. I'm telling you. They're worried about being exposed, but they were they were already exposed. They've been exposed a long time. They've been exposed. This is like you not knowing people know the truth about you or the right people know the truth about you, how you came into something, how you came about. And you're walking around every day pretending to be in the upright, pretending to be just and caring and nurturing down to earth even spiritual, and you don't realize that people know. And this is possibly why this Knight of Cups is out here because this is someone that's immature, right? Unreliable, emotionally imbalanced, emotionally immature. They gaslight people. They pretend to be something they're not, okay? Yeah, this car will not leave the bottom. Someone is a thief. Someone is a thief. Someone stole something and they're being exposed. This is like you, yeah, they have to move on. This is like you living in, like you living a hard life, right? Trying to make ends meet, living an honest life, like working a nine to five. And you don't even know you have like assets and things like that to your name. Someone has maneuvered their way through the system to make sure something goes to them. And people find out, hey, uh, yeah, this is not yours. And they end up in legal issues. Now they're burdened because they know they're about to be homeless and out in the street. 
God forbid they have children or a child or elder person that is sick or something. They're going to have to find a place for that person to live. Just like you had to find a place for your family or your grandparent, your mom, your dad, or whoever, this person has to go through that experience. Someone has to know they're going to find out what it means to be impoverished because they've been causing this to other people. So because they projected this into your life when you didn't do anything to them, the universe is humbling this person. They say, hey, since you don't get the picture, you don't, you're not understanding it, we're going to put you in this situation so you can understand what it means to be homeless, what it means to be to live in like, okay? Yeah. And they've, they've been, you know, like this is someone that'll do something and they're trying to cover all of their tracks when they're talking to people, they're fixing their words to make sure they don't say the wrong thing. When they're sending text messages, they'll read it umpteen times. To make sure they don't put any words in there that could give them away or expose them. This is an, an illusion. It's, yeah, they're watching everything they do. They watch everything they do. They have to watch it. But someone caught on to this person a long time ago and they didn't know that. Something has been revealed. Something has been revealed. And they're worried. Say, am I going to be homeless? Am I going to be this? Am I? Yeah, you're going to have to experience that. Because you tried to cause that for someone else. Yeah. The same way that star C had to be strong, now you have to be strong. You have to stay calm. This is like someone trying to uh, shake, shake up your life. And you handle everything with class. Right, you're not out yelling at people, cursing at people. Most people don't even know what you're going through. Someone is going to have to find their strength, their tenacity somewhere to, to make it through what they're about to go through. Just that you had to find that. You're probably naturally like that. If you're this star, you're probably naturally like that. Someone's going to have to find that within themselves. Like You're going to have to be brave now, sister. You're going to have to be brave now, brother. Okay, because this is the life you were asking for. And this is what I tell people when you go out doing malicious things to people, be mindful what you're doing because you're asking the universe for that to be reciprocated to you. Okay, that's the energy you're putting out there. And when you send it out there, it has to go somewhere. It's going to come right back to you because no one sent that to you. You put that energy out there and it's going in a circle. So it has to come right back to where it started. Okay. So someone is going through that experience. They martyr themselves. Yeah. They're going through an ending. They're going through an ending. And they won't be able to handle what they're about to go through. This is like you going from Beverly Hills to being like in like a, I don't know, two bedroom apartments in the south side or something in the city, in the ghetto or something like that. Or just in an average apartment like you're used to drinking like uh champagne having the best of clothes all kinds of stuff like someone is being downgraded because they're they were not humble and they were willing to steal from other people just to be in a high position in life to be seen as privileged she's going through an ending he's going through an ending whoever this is they're going through an ending okay they are going through an ending while you are elevating. And star seeds, you're being told to be just strong for a little bit while, little while longer. Yeah. You're about to be stepping out on a whole new life. Stay hopeful. Keep your hope alive. Keep your faith alive. I love positive messages like this. Now that the message is coming together, when it initially started, I said, oh my gosh, what in the world is going on here? You could have a twin flame relationship that's coming in. You're about to be in a union with your twin flame, your soul twin, higher level soulmate, whatever you call it that makes you feel better. You're about to be partnering up with someone. And they themselves, they're going through some type of healing process. They're going through some type of healing process as well, healing journey. Okay? Yeah, they're going through healing. They're going through healing. You're sealing onto calmer waters, and this masculine is sealing onto calmer waters, maybe separating himself from a toxic relationship. 
Um, and for Matas, yeah, he's moving on. He he's already yeah. He's moving on. He's gonna enter their situation. Like this person has a whole plan on how to move forward. He may be healing from an illness. Maybe it's mental. It could be something else. But he's healing, right? Yeah, he's 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 moving on. Is like someone saying, "Yeah, I'm not happy." Listen, this is someone coming to the realization, like accepting the truth for what it is. Like they they can't pretend like what they're seeing is not there anymore. What they're feeling is not there anymore. They're putting an end to it and they're leaving quickly. They're like, I'm not happy here. I don't want to be with you. I don't hate you, but I don't love you. I don't like you. I just want to move on with my life. She may have been trying to hold on to him to keep him stuck with her because there's a benefit, like a financial benefit of her being, uh, uh, to her being with him. It's an ego thing for her as well. She feels that like she's better than another energy. There's a whole lot going on in here, and it's just a lot of ridiculousness. But overall, the message it, message is positive. It's three people going through some type of change. One has a hard lesson to learn that she really needed to learn, right? A humbling experience. Someone is falling from grace. And this is intervention by the divine, okay? And then the other two parties... They're going through some type of healing experience. One may already be healed and they're just kind of going on about their life. They may be going through some hard times and things like that, but they've learned how to maneuver their way through those types of experiences. And then the masculine, he may have just started his healing, uh, So, but, but everyone is going through some type of change here and it's all for their good. Even this woman that's falling from grace, that's for her own good because at some point, if she does come out of this the right way, she'll understand why it is that she had to go through that experience and what she needed to change about herself in order to be the best version of herself. But right now, this is her. Just malicious and evil-minded, self-centered. Someone is very self-centered. She doesn't care what, yeah, I'm telling you, someone is very, she's wicked. This woman is wicked. Like, this is someone that will cause problems, and then, like, someone will, will work from behind the scenes causing problems, but then when you see them, they'll act like, hmm, that's beneath me. It's like, what? And they think nobody knows. That's beneath me. I would never do such a thing. Meanwhile, she's a culprit. She's the culprit behind everything that's going on because of greed and evil. Very interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A sis is worried. I'm telling you, this person is a thief trying to sneak away. This person is burdened by the truth being exposed. She's burdened by the truth being exposed. Yeah. She, she She's burdened. She's a thief. He's a thief, whoever this is. Someone manifested some type of ending in another person's life. They men try to manifest burdens in your life, captivity in your life, like you go into jail or something. You being blocked from all sides or something in all aspects of your life. You being blocked. Only for them to realize that they really manifested that for themselves. Because if you're showing up in this star sea energy, you know you're never really blocked. The universe has it figured out. Like they'll interfere, intervene on your behalf before you even ask. Because that's part of your soul contract protection. Okay, so someone may have fed people a lot of fluff, a lot of false promises, a lot of false dreams, fake promises and things like that. And they fell for the, I don't know, they drank the Kool-Aid, I guess. <laughs> I, I remember he used to work for a company and this lady, the uh, what was she, the vice president of that company, she used to say something about people drinking the Kool-Aid. And I always found it interesting. Like, it was a funny little statement for me. I'm like, that is hilarious. They're like, they, uh, w hopefully you drink the Kool-Aid too. I'm like, what in the world is she talking about? But I think it, it, it had to do with the whole sense of being part of the company and things like that. Um, so, however, someone had people drinking some type of Kool-Aid in this situation that they should not have been drinking, selling them dreams and things like that. 
Anyways, you you have a new beginning coming in. People are seeing you for exactly who you are. This is the one feminine energy or maybe even a masculine going out of their way to tarnish another person so they don't receive something. But they're finding out that, yeah, they're going to receive it because it's theirs. If this is like a will that was altered, so something could go in someone's favor, like the truth is being seen. Like if someone does not want people helping you, you're going to be helped and assisted because someone knows that you were wrong terribly. Someone wronged you terribly. So balance will be brought into the situation. Okay. Whoever is coming to help you, this either is a wealthy man, a businessman, whatever, whoever he is. He may have something going on behind the scenes. Like he needs healing. He needs healing. Like he's leaving a situation so that he can heal. So he may need your help. Someone is going through heartbreak right now. Betrayal. They're seeing someone for who they are. Maybe it's this woman that they were with. Um, he's seeing the truth about her. They may be going through a divorce or something like that. But whoever this masculine is, is going to be needing your help to heal. He may even tell you that, like, word for word, I need your help to heal. I really need your help. So he may tell you that, or he'll say it in some type of way, or there will be something about him that will let you know that he needs help. But he, maybe he may want, for some of you, he may be like a man that has a hard time asking for help. So you'll have to really study this person to know something is going on with them. Um, but if you two are twin flames, then you may pick it up right off the bat. Um, like, hey, what's going on? Someone here, when you meet your partner and you ask them what's going on, in his mind, he's going to be like, oh, wow, she really is a divine feminine. Like, she really, she's really picking up that something is wrong with me. He may not even tell you what's wrong with him because this is someone that has a hard time opening up to people because he's used to being around a lot of toxic karmic energies and they all betrayed each other. So it's going to be hard for this person to open up to you. But just be patient with them. Um, as time goes on, right, they'll come around. By the time things kind of blossom or flourish into what they, it's supposed to be, he, he's going to have you cracking up, is what I'm hearing. He, like, he's going to have you cracking up like every day. So just be patient with him. The beginning of you all's get-together is going to be a little bit rough. It's, it may be a little slow, like a friendship thing. But... He'll come around. And then, yeah, he'll come around. I'm telling you, this is your, your soul twin, twin flame, whatever you want to call it. Okay? But someone is being exposed as a thief. Someone is being exposed as a thief. People know this is how they got their victory. This is how they got this house. This is how they got this property. This is how they came into all of this money. They're like, oh, well, that makes sense. Because you had the rest of us feeling like something was wrong with us. Because... You went to bed as a rag, and then you woke up the next day a whole millionaire. Like, make it make sense. Someone likes to show off, too. I just heard that whoever stole from you, they like to show off, and now they're living in fear. Someone is, like, trying to protect something that's not there. It's like, I had to defend this. This is my house. This is not your house. You have to let it go. Someone is really delusional. Like they they think they're protecting their assets, but it's not theirs. They stole it and they tried to get away with it. I'm telling you. And it's been taken from them and giving back to you because this is your destiny. This is your blessing. A mess. Someone they didn't think they would be found out. Someone may have been living a comfortable life for a while. While you're out struggling, trying to make ends meet, living from paycheck to paycheck, and they've been sleeping in a nice warm bed in your house, right? Best sheets in the world, best furniture and everything, and you and your babies, you and your partner, your husband, your wife are out here struggling, not knowing that you're millionaires or something. And people are, people are wicked, chai. I said people are wicked and the devil comes out. People are wicked. Chai. Hmm. Now, now wickedness will finish us. Why are you this wicked? Hmm. 
Now wickedness will finish us. Where where? Chai. And this devil car keeps coming out. Someone is wicked, heartless. There's a mistake some star seeds will make or people that are like that have morals. They will try to appeal to this kind of figure's heart. They don't have a heart. You're doing it the wrong way. You're approaching them the wrong way. The only way you can get a reaction out of these kind of people is for them to lose something. Their money, something, someone that is is really dear to them, right? If they lose something that's really important to them, that's the only way you can get a reaction out of them. But trying to appeal to their heart, you're wasting your time. That's like pouring water into a strainer with no bucket at the bottom to catch the water. It's just going right down into the ground, gone. Okay? But someone in here is wicked. They don't care. They don't care. Someone is cold-hearted. Someone is a thief. Mm. Someone is seeing you as the queen of swords. Lord have mercy. They know you are not to be fooled with. Someone is absolutely hesitant to come towards you because they know they know what you are, who you are. They're like, shoo. I thought she was like easy to just kind of push around. This sucker is showing up as a point of source. I have to be careful what I say to this person if I want to have a future with them. But someone does want to have a future with you. But you've scared this person, to be honest with you. You scared them. Because you're too sharp. You catch on a little too quickly. And they're not used to that. They may be used to wearing a mask. And they know they cannot wear a mask around you. You're going to catch on. Okay? Someone is leaving like a toxic situation to have a family with you. They may be leaving. Like they're leaving one, to one family to go start a new one. Because this one here... Like the friends, the family, the relatives, everything, they're all toxic. And it, they're, he's just like, I can't anymore. I'm done. I, I have to move on. I have to move on. Yeah, I'm telling you, they're toxic. All they do is fight. All they do is trick each other, play mind games on each other, with each other. That's all they do is fight. Some of them are very lustful. They sleep with any and everybody very toxic and this is what he wants to be someone of high moral character like someone is going through a change a change someone said they had life figured out possibly when this when the universe introduced them to you they probably didn't even take you seriously they saw you as a joke but now they have a higher understanding of who you are and they yeah they have a higher understanding of who you are Okay. Yeah. Mm. What is this in the reverse? Mm, okay. Dang. Whoever has been coming after you is exhausted. They're not getting the results that they want to get from you. This is as people trying to get a reaction out of you, causing mayhem in your life, trying to cause endings and things like that, and they have to walk away because they're not getting the results that they want. It's that someone wanting you to be angry. They want you to scream. Like they want you to scream bloody murder like, oh my gosh, this is going on with me. Oh my gosh, I need your help. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. And you're just sitting back and like, yeah, I knew you were going to do that. I knew you were going to do that. I knew you were going to do that. I knew this was going to happen. It's pissing them off how calm you are. You're calm, but you, you're sharp. You know what's going on. They've all been partnering up together behind the scenes. 
to tear you down, to cause you endings, and it's not working. It's not working. There's a wealthy man that may not be doing very well. I don't wish endings on people, but someone is not doing very well. He's very discontent. Someone may, may have misused their finances for something and they're not able to anymore. Someone is not doing well. They may have depleted their bank account. Someone's health may not be doing well as well. Oh Lord, hear, hear the repetition. Someone's health may not be doing well. Yeah, oh. I didn't know this was down here. Dang. Someone's health, they're not doing too well mentally, emotionally, financially. They may be having a pinch penny. Yeah. But they're discontent because they can't cause you an ending. It said they were all working together to cause you an ending. But the whoever was leading them on is going through an ending. Whoever was orchestrating all of this behind the scenes is going through some type of ending. Like something has been exposed. They're being something is being taken away from them. They may not be wealthy anymore. They may not be wealthy anymore. And then you have another wealthy man that's going through a divorce. He's like, I, I can't do this anymore. I'm not happy. This could be a king of pentacles. He's not happy. He's walking away. He said, I've done I've done all the years I can with you. I've lost a lot of years trying to stay and make it work. He wants a new beginning. It's like we've been together for 20 years, 30 years. I can't do it anymore. I want to be happy. I want to be free. I want you to be free. I want to heal. Right? And she may not be happy about that. Dang. I keep seeing this ten of swords. Either someone is planning to end a masculine because he's leaving, or someone is planning to end a star seed so they don't get some type of offer. It could be both. It could be both. Mm. But there's a whole group that's not happy. Someone may be passing away in this group, and they didn't expect this. This is, this is like people making you the focal point of their lives for no reason. And something horrendous happens. And they all kind of have to back up because they know exactly why that horrendous thing is happening. It's because they came after you. So someone may be passing away. Someone cannot move forward or a group of people cannot move forward with their plan. There's some type of halt that's going on either because you're moving on the universe has decided that things are going in your favor like you have a higher purpose than a lot of these people i'm telling you you have a higher purpose than a lot of these people so the universe is always going to make sure that things go in your favor you have a higher calling because your calling may have to do with healing the very people that are trying to destroy you and that's something. So this is just one chapter of the story. Down the line, they're all going to need you. They're all going to need you. Some of them may be reaching out to you and they can't get a hold of you. This Queen of Pentacles is going through some type of ending as well. Like, someone is... She's exposed. Like, there's someone behind the scene, like a masculine. Yeah, she's not happy. There's a masculine behind the scene that has been trying to cause an ending for feminine energy. It's like, no, she can't have that. And we're going to torment her until she breaks. What is it? Yeah, nobody's breaking. He is breaking. This is like someone breaking down while trying to break you, break you down. Every time they do something and you don't give a reaction, it tears them down. And they say, well, you know, if you stop doing what you're doing, you know, you won't be feeling so horrible. You won't be feeling so horrible. Because you're hurting yourself at the end of the day. Yeah. You're hurting yourself at the end of the day. Someone is upset that you have you have 
new beginning coming in you're gonna get some type of offer regardless of all of the difficulties they cause this is like people going backwards and forward bending over backwards all kinds of stuff being the jack of all trades when it comes to being malicious and doing wicked stuff being manipulative and causing conflict and they've done all of this and you're still getting these opportunities this new beginning you still have victory there's something I see in here that a star C is doing. I'm not going to say it, but you are something else. You are sneaky as heck. <laughs> Sir, you are sneaky as heck. What is this? Work too hard, not working hard. Burn out, squander, talent, or gift. Idle, hands, careless, unfocused. Mm. so is this like someone saying that you were not focused but they're being exposed as the one that's not focused and also someone sees that someone may see that maybe you're not passionate about what you're doing and maybe in the future when you start doing what you enjoy you'll be passionate about it but right now someone is being seen as lazy unfocused uncommitted non-committal something like that like they're being exposed. This is someone that does that takes like the shortcuts instead of actually committing themselves to doing and learning their craft. They may have said that you were the one that was doing that. Like I'm telling you, this person is non-committal. They're not focused. They're not solid. Do not give them this offer. Do not give them give them this position. Someone is wicked. I said wicked and this is here. Someone is wicked. They're pretending to have foresight of the situation, but they don't. They're causing chaos behind the scene and they want people to believe something, but everything they're projecting onto you is what they are. Make it make sense. It will not. Yeah, I'm telling you. Everything that they're projecting onto you is what they are. They want people to believe you're, you're not serious about your work. You don't know what you're doing. They want to interfere with an opportunity. They may be telling people that you're devilish, you're wicked, you're this, you're that, but you're not. Someone you're about to be free from a devilish energy. You may be working for a devilish energy and your ancestors are stepping in to free you from this energy. I, I had a vision the other day where someone was literally stepping out. Like there, I saw like a bare foot stepping on land, which is letting me know that someone is about to be set free. So you could be working for a devilish energy right now. I don't know what they're doing to you or what they have you doing, but just know that your ancestors are about to intervene and you are about to be on a whole new journey, right? You're about to be uh, working with people that actually will trust you and care about the input that you have to give, right? You'll actually matter. Your voice will matter. You know, sometimes you go to work for companies, you may know a little bit too much, or you may be someone that's very initiative, and people would take that the wrong way. They'll say, oh, they're trying to take over my company. Oh, they're trying to do this. Oh, they're trying to do that. But they say, no, I'm not trying to do any of that. I'm just doing, I'm just working. I'm just working. But they'll take it as like you're, they'll, they'll get intimidated real easily. They think like you had some type of ulterior motive or something like that. That's why sometimes we have to be mindful with the help that we offer in these organizations that we work for. Because these people, even though like the person may be like the CFO, COO, the vice president, the president, even though they know that you can't do nothing to them, they'll be intimidated by you because you're someone that's initiated, a quick learner, someone that's genuine. They say, well, if this person stays here long enough, they're going to overpower me. They're going to take over my company. But they said, how can someone take over your company? It's your company. It can only happen if you let them. If you decide you don't want to be president anymore, that's the only way that can happen. Like, I don't understand how some employers, 
they'll employ you to do a job and you do the job well and they feel intimidated by that. They say, why did you hire me to do the job then? It, okay. <laughs> yeah, someone is... Mm, there's a toxic couple that's going through an ending. It said you and your partner, your soulmate are coming together, embarking on a new life, and there's a couple behind the scenes that's going through an ending. Yeah, they're going through an ending. There's a dark, there's a toxic, like a, a cultist couple that's working with a high priestess to get things to go in their favor. Like these people are using magic behind the scenes. These people are lazy as heck, but they feel entitled to the good things in life. They're working with someone behind the scenes to cause endings. Like you need to make sure things go in our favor. We pay you a lot of money. You need to make sure this person walks away. Like they're trying to make sure things go in their favor. But it's a tower. It's a tower. Like everything they're doing is just leading to an ending for them. I love how this person is seeking healing and they become a freaking high priestess. Maybe it was always within them. They just needed to embark on their journey. Listen, they embarked on a journey, a healing journey. And became a high priestess. That's beautiful. Like they left everything behind them. They left this. And embarked on a solo journey. Trusting source. Trusting the universe. To have their best interest at heart. To guide them. Lead them. Give them the answers that they need. Healing. They told him that he needed to heal. And he did just that. And he achieved that inner knowing. He acquired that inner knowing. Damn, that is beautiful. Like, he left everything behind. Yeah, he left everything behind. Whoever this couple is, they're going through a serious ending. They may even be going through a divorce. This man, yeah, I already said whoever you're supposed to be with may be going through a divorce as well. But this couple is going through an ending. Someone is putting an end to their toxic way as well. Dang. Dang. There's some type of big review about you. Who? Wow. I don't know. Like, if someone took some type of impulsive action to betray someone. Someone may have been like lying about you and their lie was exposed and people see you as genuine now. There's going to be some type of reconciliation going on. People may be shocked that after everything that happened, after everything they told this person about you, they're still wanting to connect with you. Like you see all this chaos that was going on and the two of you still connected. The two of you still connected. It started off here kind of, and it turned into something genuine. So what I said in the beginning was right. Someone is coming in with the offer of friendship, right? And then it's going to turn into something really sincere. Really sincere. But, oh man. 
All the characters in here being exposed. Someone trying to get away with something. Someone is burdened by two people coming together. Someone is worried about doing the right thing. Is that if I go towards this person, are they going to reject me? And then you have the karmics that are worried about losing something that don't belong to them. And they say you, you're still going to lose it. It doesn't belong to you. Someone might thought they could swipe out destiny with you. They can't. That's not how that works. That is not how that works. Okay, we have 88, 8, 8, which is 16, 7. It said, you are on the cusp of a prosperous and abundant spiritual life. You will find numerous opportunities for success and achievement, all of which bring financial and material abundance into your life. I am wealthy. Amen to that. Anyways, thank you for watching. Stay blessed. And I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye for now.